What about Lamar Jackson, who we just talked about a little bit, about, you know, the freaky guy, the guy, because Lamar Jackson is that guy. He's the guy that was able to outrun everyone. You know, he was able to, sorry, he was able to juke out everyone on the field. And I just first wanted to say, what a game, Cleveland, Ravens, that was the game of the year. Just so many storylines. I mean, Lamar Jackson having his cramps, going to get an IV in the tunnel. Trace McSorley leading the Ravens for two drives. Baker Mayfield playing great. Lamar Jackson comes out and hits Hollywood, who dropped like every ball all game for a touchdown. Justin Tucker, and then Browns come down and score. Justin Tucker hits a game-winning field goal. It, was, it just had everything. It was a fantastic football game. And Lamar Jackson was the superstar in this game. And I think, um, you know, it was really nice to see him finally block everything out, just put his head down and run when he needed to, not not be worried about what other people thought, not be worried about running around being like, oh, you know, I need to pass. I, I can't just put it down and run, even though that's what he does. That was Lamar Jackson at his peak form. That was MVP Lamar Jackson. You know, Lamar Jackson isn't gonna make every throw. I mean, he missed a couple of big throws down to Andrews and Sneed, but that's okay when you can make so many great plays. And obviously you would love to make those throws, but that's this is Lamar Jackson at his peak when he hits the, a lot of the necessary throws and just puts his head down, runs, and does what he does best, beats everyone out on the field. And so it was just nice to see that happen in this game. And I think that was really, really good to see. We're seeing Lamar Jackson be comfortable again, be comfortable with himself, be like, okay, we're taking this development, this this thing that the Ravens were trying to develop earlier in the season. I mean, if you noticed, there's several times when they got up against worse teams where they were just trying to force Lamar Jackson to be comfortable, drop back. And so in this game, Lamar Jackson was just kind of like, we'll push that to the off season. I'm going to be me. I'm going to put that team on my back. And that's what he did. So great to see that. And I'm talking about this because I've campaigned for Lamar Jackson for, you know, this whole season. He's one of my favorite players in the NFL. I think he's a fantastic quarterback. And a couple of weeks ago, I told you that he was the most underappreciated quarterback in the NFL. I think at this point, a lot of people are waking up on him. I think a lot of people are recognizing how fantastic he is. He is, he's, you know, he may not be as efficient as last year. The Ravens offense might not be as good as last year, but Lamar Jackson can still be magical. And I think a lot of people are still are, are realizing that. And then, you know, something that I want to revisit, I made a video earlier this year was, you know, I said that Lamar Jackson is better than he was last year. And I think, and I also said that he is more valuable to the Ravens than he was last year. And, you know, what, what I'll say is Lamar Jackson might not necessarily be better than last year, because I do believe that there's some elements of his game that, you know, are, are not quite as good as they were last year. But coming with that, I think there's a lot of development that we've seen with Lamar Jackson, a lot of pieces of his game that have gotten better. They've gotten, you know, more refined. And I think most not most notably is his ability to throw on the run, extend a play, find a guy down the field, make a great play, which, you know, we saw it a couple times on Monday. He rolled out of a pocket that was collapsed, found Mark Andrews on a drive saving play. Those are the types of things that he's been better at this year. You know, being able to roll out when the, when the easy stuff isn't there and find Marquise Brown or Willie Sneed or Mark Andrews outside the numbers, he's been better at that. Extending a play and making something happen with it when the easy stuff isn't there. Throwing the ball, not just running the ball. We know he could do that. We know that he can extend a play running the ball, but throwing the ball, getting out of the pocket, chucking the ball downfield and making a big play. He did that with Marquise Brown. He dealt with Mark Andrews this past week. And he's done that all season long. That is something that I have been very, very impressed with. And, you know, I'm not 100% sure if he's better. Because as I said, some things, he's missing a couple more throws than last year. And, you know, but again, there's some things that he's been better at this year. So I'm not 100% sure if he's better or not. But what I will say is I think that the development of the trait, I just talked about these traits that Lamar Jackson has developed is going to help him greatly in the playoffs. I mean, that's one thing that we always talk about. That's one of our knocks on Lamar Jackson is, can he win in the playoffs? Can he win the big moment? Because, you know, I think it's really gonna help him this development of being able to roll out, extend a play. It's gonna help him in the playoffs because in the playoffs, 
That's when the easy stuff is in there. That's when Mark Andrews wide open in the middle of the field on third and six is not there. That's when you got to drop back, make a play in the air on third and 10 because the rushing game is just not working like you want it to. And you got to, and the pocket collapses. You got to find somebody. And that, that happens way more in the playoffs. That's what wins you games in the playoffs. Those big moments, those moments where the easy stuff isn't there because teams in the playoffs aren't going to make it easy. Good teams aren't going to give you all the easy stuff. That's the reality of it. So you got to make plays when they're not there in the playoffs to win. And so, and I think Lamar Jackson's in a spot where he's able to do that. So like, and then also, I still believe that he is more valuable to the Ravens. I mean, the Ravens offense is top 15, borderline top 10 in the league. It's had its ups and downs, but the reason for that is literally because of Lamar Jackson. The reason that it is good and it's even close to a top 10 offense is because of Lamar Jackson. I mean, you've got ton of offensive line injuries. The interior offensive line is a mess. Um, you've got weapons that have really, really struggled this year and some play calling that's been questionable too. I mean, Lamar Jackson hasn't been the greatest this year, but if you take him off the Ravens, I think they are one of the worst offenses in the NFL right now. So I think Lamar Jackson, which I don't think there was a case last year. So I think Lamar Jackson is more valuable to this Ravens offense this year than he was last year. I think we're going to see, we've seen that all year. We're going to see it down the stretch of the season and potentially in the playoffs as well, if they can make it there. So I just wanted to say that um, Lamar Jackson's great. He's more valuable to the Ravens than he was last year. And I think he's finally ready to lead the Ravens to some playoff success, which many of us, including me, have some questions about.